video has been sponsored by King Maps Five Guard and Just Scripts. Check their website in the description. Hello everyone, welcome to Success Development. In this video, we are going to install an advanced banking system into our 5M servers. So without any further ado, let's get to the installation process. So this is the script which are going to install into our 5M server. I'll put the link in the description below. You just need to scroll down over here, then click over here. Then click on code and download the script. After downloading it, you just need to extract the file into your 5M resource folder. So I'll be extracting it over here. Just like this. Now rename the file and remove the main from the name. Now open the file. Open the SQL folder. Open your head SQL. Select your server. Then click on run. Now open the config.lua. The framework is Cubico framework. If you're using ESX framework, then you just need to change the QB to ESX. And for the notification type, I'll be using aux notification. From here, you can change the bank name. So I'll be keeping a default for now. And also you can configure other things from this config file like blip configuration, banks pad configuration, interaction setting, banking system and more. You can configure them all from here. The keybind to open the bank is E. You can change the keybind from here. So that's it for the config part. Before starting the server, make sure to delete the default QB banking from here. Just like this. So yes guys, that's it for the installation part. Now let's start the server. So we are in a server now. Now let's get inside the bank. To open the bank, we just need to press E. As you can see the interface of our bank which is over here. This is the total bank balance which we have currently in our bank as you can see. Over here, there are various types of options. So let's select this one. In this option, you can send money to anyone through their receipt ID and by putting the amount over here. In the deposit section, you can deposit your cash inside the bank. So let's add some $100 over here. After that, click on deposit cash. As you can see, $100 has been deducted from our cash and added into our bank as you can see. Now from here, we can withdraw the money. So let's withdraw $50. So as you can see, $50 has been deducted from our bank. Now in the history section, you will see all the transaction history over here. In this option, we can open a savings account. So let's click over here. And as you can see, we have opened our savings account. So let's click over here. Now from here, we can transfer the money from our main account to savings account. So let's just do it. So I'll be transferring $1000 to our savings account just like this as you can see so if you want to transfer the money from the savings account to the main account you just need to click over here then enter the amount after that click on transfer as you can see these two are the same options just like this and by clicking over here we will get our account summary over here as you can see if you want to close your savings account you just need to click over here after that click on close account now by clicking over here you can set up the pin for your debit card so i'll be setting up this pin after that, click on confirm. So as you can see the pin over here, through this we can access any ATM which is in our city. So let's come to the ATM. Then press E over here. Then enter your four digit pin in here. Just like this. Now you can withdraw or deposit any money from here. Just like this. So yes guys, that's for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos related to 5M development. Goodbye.